Hi, shiny people. Would you like to learn how to elevate your favorite makeup look to make your face look just a little bit extra? Um, and I'm not talking about professional makeup skills here. I'm talking about stuff that anybody can do in five minutes. Messy moms, uh, busy girls, uh, messy hair, don't care kind of people. Um, I'm talking minimalist, minimal products, um, and minimal effort to just sculpt your face and give yourself a more high-end chic kind of look with your makeup. So here's my trick. Here's some insider information. I have this adorable teeny tiny compact and inside this compact I have four products. Now I have these beautiful luxury makeup brushes and with this little kit, I am going to take my favorite makeup look and elevate it and make it look more sharp and more professional and just give me an overall more confident look. So here I go. It's easy peasy. I am going to use a, con a technique called hacking. Um, H-A-C stands for highlight and contour. So I have on my basic makeup right now. I have on um, just a small amount of foundation. I just wanted to put on my regular makeup so I could show you a kind of before and after. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my darkest color in my palette. This is my contour shade. And for my skin tone, I use the shade Indigo. Now I'm going to take this beautiful high quality makeup brush. It's called a 30 second heck brush. And I'm going to take this blunt end to apply my contour. Bones. So I'm creating my own angles on my face. I'm using my natural face shape and I'm just accentuating the natural shadows on my face. See the difference already? And you don't need to know what you're doing to do this technique. It's just the easiest thing. And it, when you buy this little compact, you get basically um, an instruction card with it. So you're not left on your own. So I did contour under my jawline, in my cheekbone, and now I'm going to go ahead up around my hairline and darken up around my hairline with this cream contour kit. The key to great looking contour is to have the right shade for your skin tone. And with this compact, the contour shades are um, in a cool kind of tone um, whereas some of the other cream contours you see on the market are like more like bronzers this one is these this collection has um, cool colored contours so that you're getting the natural look of an actual shadow on your face which is the whole point of contour it's meant to mimic the actual shadows on your face so if it's a warm tone, you're not going to get that same effect. You're going to look more bronzed, but not chiseled. I'm using my eyeshadow every brush, everything brush to add some contour to my nose.
And while I have it here, I'm also going to swipe some of this same color into my eyebrows using my same little brush here. So it's just a handful of products, literally. Your makeup fits in the palm of your hand. And just a few minutes, few products, few minutes. While I'm going to keep going with my contour, and don't worry, this will be blended at the end. I'm not going to remain this way. While I have my little brush and my contour color, I'm going to continue with that. And I'm going to add it under my lash line. That's going to give my eyes a little more definition and just smoke them out a little. Make my eyes look a little more special. I'm going to go ahead and put that as well on my upper lash line for just a little smokiness. And continuing with the contour, I'm going to um, add some definition to my lips which is going to help my lips just appear plumper just by putting a little shadow under my lip line and a little shadow above my lip line. So just like an optical illusion, And believe me, I know that this is not the greatest look. Don't worry, this stuff gets blended out seamlessly. See that effect? So you're adding shadows where you want them to go and it's gonna create the effect of chiseling your face and plumping your face in the different areas. So there's my contour color. Now I'm going to go in with a lighter flesh tone, which is called my highlight color. So this is a 3D foundation approach. And in your 3D foundation, you have highlight, contour, and lip and cheek. So I'm using the tapered end of my 30 second hack brush. So I'm using the same brush for my highlight and my contour. And um, we use the very, very tiniest amount of product on our brush. And we really want the product to melt into our skin and blend into our skin. So we're kind of pressing it into our skin with this beautiful tapered brush. So I've got done from all across my jawline has my highlight color. Then I do a triangle shape on each side of my nose, so under the eye. If you can see where my brush is placing that, it's in this triangle underneath my eye. So I just touch my brush into this cream highlight. I just touch it and it picks up the perfect amount of product for me when I just touch my brush just like that. Down the center of my nose and just around my nose and on my upper lip. Go some highlight and now just my forehead. I 
Okay, still looking pretty wild. <laughs> Again, it's not gonna stay this way. I am going to go into a rosy tone. This is my lip and cheek. So there's a variety of lip and cheek colors to choose from. And as the name suggests, you use them as a blush and you use them on your lips. So I'm going to switch into this beautiful brush called um, the B squared brush. And this blunter end here is going to be for my blush. So I'm just touching this brush into the cream contour and then I'm going to smile and I'm going to place this brush on the, the blush on the apples of my cheeks and slightly up my cheekbone. Okay, I'm gonna just use my finger to smudge some of that onto my lips. I just like to do a little smudgy smudge for my lips. It gives it a nice, it's not too lipsticky, it's just, just a nice little flush of color. Um, now, I'm, it's time for me to blend. And my favorite way to blend out my cream highlight and contour is with the fluffy end of this B squared brush. This is just my approach, it's what I use. Many people will recommend using a beauty blender, a perfector sponge, but I like to just lightly buff out the edges of my makeup with this fluffy brush. I don't want to wipe off my contour. I just want to lightly buff it to get rid of the harsh edges. That's better, right? <laughs> So last but not least, I'm going to take a little bit of illuminator and just hit the high points of my face. Illuminator is totally per personal preference. You can go as glowy as you wish. Um, for illuminator, for my face, I'm in my early to mid 30s. And for my face and my skin texture, I like to place my illuminator here on my cheekbones, probably a little around my lips and just under my brow bone. If you like to look more glowy, go ahead and do illuminator basically down the center of your face and on your cheekbones. I'm just going to use my finger and dip into this illuminator, cream illuminator, and this color is called Pearl. This is a very subtle illuminator, which I appreciate. It can be built up to be more glowy if you wish. There's my cheekbones and just, this is going to help define my brows. I find that putting some illuminator under my brows just really finishes my eyes. A little on my lips in the center. And that's going to give me a really full effect. So here we go. I'm going to take a before and after picture because I really just find that those few little steps really take my face to a more, what can I say, just more polished level, more professional.